हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल लर्न विथ इंजीनियर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सर्ज इम्पिडेंस लोडिंग दैट इज एस आई एल फॉर ट्रांसमिशन लाइन कंसीडर एज वी नो द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इम्पिडेंस जेड जीरो इज गिवन बाय एज हियर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इम्पिडेंस Z0 जीरो इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट जेड बाई वाई वेर जेड इज दिस सीरीज इम्पिडेंस पर यूनिट लेंथ ऑफ द लाइन एंड वाई इज दिस शंट एडमिटेंस पर यूनिट लेंथ ऑफ द लाइन दिस कैन ऑल्सो बी रिटर्न एज आर प्लस जे ओमेगा एल अपॉन जी प्लस जे ओमेगा सी सिंस न्यूमिनेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर आर कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर सो द रिजल्टेंट विल ऑल्सो बी अ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर here r is the series resistance of the per, uh, series resistance of the line per unit length l is the series inductance of the line per unit length g is the likens of the line per unit length and c is the capacitance uh, that is shunt capacitance of the uh, then that is shunt capacitance of the line per unit length let's consider the condition when the line is lossless that is when r Uh, and g is uh, equal to zero becomes zero. Let lossless line that is r is equal to zero and g is equal to zero. So characteristic impedance for lossless line can be written as under root l by c. Because r and g become zero, so z zero becomes under root l by c, which is a pure uh, real number. Uh, that is, a, <laughs> that is, this is a pure real number, and will not uh, and have not any imaginary term. So it is pure resistive. That is r zero, pure resistive. For lossless line, characteristic impedance becomes pure resistive. Now. consider the case suppose that this is sending end and this is receiving end and this is transmission line whose uh, characteristic impedance for lossless condition is zero z0 uh, is equal to r0 okay now uh, suppose that a load is connected here Z zero. I R is the is receiving end current and V R is the receiving end voltage. So, for surge impedance loading, for surge impedance loading, the value of Z L that that is load impedance must be equal to the uh, value of characteristic impedance that is Z zero. So, for S I L. For S I L Z zero uh, Z L must be Z zero, and here for lossless condition, lossless condition Z L must be equal to R zero. That is under L by C. So. let the voltage at the receiving end per phase is vr per phase vr phase vr phase is the receiving end voltage receiving end voltage per phase and ir phase ir phase is the receiving end current per phase since uh, the connected load that is zl is equal to r0 which is a pure resistive so uh, ir will be in phase of vr phase since load is pure resistive pure resistive so ir will be in phase of vr 
okay so the power factor will be so the power factor cos phi will be equal to 1 receiving in power factor cos phi will be equal to 1 now the load delivered to the receiving end that is uh, the three phase load three phase load delivered to the receiving end that is called surge impedance loading sil is uh, will be given by this equation so receiving in power delivered to this uh, so the uh, three phase power delivered to the receiving end p three phase delivered to receiving end that is also called surge impedance loading that is also called surge impedance loading will be equal to the three v phase i phase into cos phi so since cos phi is equal to 1 this can be written as 3 v phase i phase clear sil so surge impedance loading is 3 phase, 3 v phase into i phase i phase here 3 v phase i phase can be written as v phase by z0 v phase by z0 so SIL will be 3 uh, cos phi. Yes, these are in magnitude. This is magnitude. So, SIL will be 3 V phase I square upon Z0. So, SIL will be as here 3 V phase chi square upon Z0 where V phase is the receiving end voltage per phase. Now, if we write the receiving end voltage in line in terms of line voltage, so V line upon under root 3 V phase can be written as here, so this is Z0. So, this can be written as so SIL becomes VL. This is VL chi square upon Z naught. So this is the formula for the surge impedance loading for a trans uh, for a transmission line. If, um, if if voltage is considered in phase voltage, then this will this formula will apply, and if in line voltage, this formula will be applied. So from here, this is a per phase per phase load per phase uh, delivered load, and if you multiply by three, then we find the SIL for uh, uh, for the transmission line. Now. Again, generally the value of Z0, value of Z0 for lossless line, for overhead lines, for overhead lines, generally Z0 is equal to 400 ohm. 400 ohm now if we consider now if we consider the voltage that is line voltage or phase voltage in kilovolt then we can write sil as vl square into 10 to power 6 this will be the volt upon 400 ohm so SIL can be written as 2.5 2.5 VL chi square into 
टेन टू पावर थ्री और टेन टू पावर थ्री और किलोवाट लिख देते हैं सीधे हम सीधे से किलोवाट लिख देते टू पॉइंट फाइव वी एल फाइव स्क्वायर इन किलोवाट so if we put the vl in uh, kv then it will be the vl uh, square into 10 to power 6 volt kilo volt will be uh, uh, squared so this will be 10 to power 6 and this is 400 ohm for uh, z0 so sil uh, can be written as sil 2.5 vl ka square into uh, kilo watt uh, vl vl square kilo watt where vl is the vl in किलो वोल्ट वेयर वी एल इज इन किलो वोल्ट सो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज ऑल अबाउट सो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दिस सर्ज इंपिडेंस लोडिंग फॉर द ट्रांसमिशन लाइन थैंक यू वेरी मच